I want to be the best, the biggest, the hottest, and the richest. I'm going to be, uh, what do they call it? Gambling czar. I'm going to be a big man in this town within six months. I'm going to make changes. I got some new ideas. What kinds of changes, Pete? I'm going to wallpaper this whole place. The walls, on the walls. I'm going to put money, real money. I'm going to cover the floors with silver dollars. You know, people walk in here, they're going to be walking on money. They're going to be looking at money. There's going to be money everywhere. You know, I got some good ideas. I got some great promotions. You know, you guys give me a hand, I'll cut you in on a few of them. I make them all up myself. Yeah, you're a real creative guy. Hey, you ever guy. hear of uh, Losers 21? Never did. Huh? The guy that loses the most money wins. I'm going to pay 5,000 bucks to the guy that loses the most money. So when he wins, he wins. When he loses, he wins too. How about chicken tic-tac-toe? Beat the chicken. Win money. <laughs> a trained chicken never loses. Yeah, listen, we want to be good neighbors, and we want to be sure that you make it. What are you guys, the uh, welcome wagon or something? across the 80 acres that sits between us. You see, Pete, we want to light up this end of the strip. So if you do good, we do good. Yeah, well, listen, any advice that you need, anything at all, banking short-term loans, operations, you call us, because we want to make sure that everything works out just fine. I got you duped into Pete Bowers' joint, the Palladium Casino, without him knowing. You went home and they're going to start working there. And I want you to take uh, Claymore with you. This guy Bowers, he's a friend of yours? That's why we're helping him out? Paulie, I want you to skim the hard count. Short food and beverage. Steal from the hotel guests. Rig the slots. So I guess he's not a friend. Paulie, what you lack in intelligence, you make up for in stupidity. You know that? I said he don't know. Hey, Ray, I just got a gig singing lead if he does it clean. Go sing some other time, Frank. Right now, it's back to work. Hey, boss, I don't understand. Why do you want us to make you lose money? Hey, you'll find out soon enough. Right now, anything and everything to make the joint lose money. And make it lose money fast. It doesn't take brains. It's easy to lose money. You think you can do it? Of course. I'm the best. Paulie, you got to stop using your head for just a hat rack. Well, we're going to have some magic moments. He's late. He's rarely late. He'll be here, Mike. He's late. Hello, Jack. Mike, David. Sarge, you're late. And when you're late, I get visions of Ray Luca hanging you from a meat hook somewhere. Do you understand? My cover's still solid. Don't worry. Don't tell me not to worry. When someone is as far in as you are, I worry, OK? Now, tell us what he got for us. Clothes, no cigar. They made me slot, boss. That's where the skim starts, just like I figured.
get as far as the count room, Mike. I couldn't hang around without being too conspicuous. Got a light? And I saw him count the quarters. There's about $6,000 in each bucket. Then Taglia did something to the scale that changed the weight maker. Dropped it by 50 pounds. That leaves him about 3,000 bucks of quarters unaccounted for. Oh, sure, so they're skimming off the top. What do they do with the money next? I don't know. That's all I ever seen. Given the slot action on every shift, I'd estimate they're taking down about 30, 40,000 bucks a day. Easy. Sounds like you've gotten close. I was close. That's the news. They transferred me out. So what are you saying? Are you saying that Luca is moving you out of the Lucky Star Casino? That's exactly what I'm saying. Does he suspect you? I don't think so. I heard it from Taglia. Where's he putting you? Pete Bowers, Palladium Casino. Oh, that's great. That's great. Just when we were getting somewhere, this happens, huh? Damn it. Damn it. You got 40 cases there. I got 80 cases here. No, you got 40 cases. I'm paying you for 80. You got a problem with that? We'll split the overage. 50-50. OK. I don't want none of this. That's mum champagne. Nah, I want to exchange it for a case of moon glow. I'll have to redo this invoice. Uh, forget it. We'll eat the difference. Yeah, but we don't have any moon glow. Hey. Then I'll take a case of river rum. Hey, pal, <laughs> nobody orders river rum. Look at They do here, all right? You see, we get all the uh, bus tours in from Skid Row here. So we'll take, uh, a couple of cases of that toque. Them short dogs make them feel right at home. Terrific. Blue duck from the estate of Washington. We don't want none of that frog champagne. Bring us all the duck you got and shake it up real well. I'm going to take this with me. Do you know who I am? Uh, let me guess. Uh... Eleanor Roosevelt. I'm Penelope Worth, and you have a very smart mouth. Yeah, that's what the warden said. I had a $5,000 necklace in there. Only two of us had the key, correct? Oh, no, ma'am. You had the only key. Then one of you was a thief, right? Who, me? Look, I want my necklace back. I am prepared to sue. I'll shut this place down, and you won't have your measly little job anymore. Oh, look, lady, maybe you got a little too drunk last night. You misplaced the necklace. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Who cares? Get the next box. been at this address? Three months now. You got a job? Yeah. I am the President of the United States. All right, good. I'm going to start you out at 10 grand, all right? How's that? Yeah, that'll do for now. Good luck. Hey, I mean it. Good luck. I love Las Vegas. Look, we ain't got no money left in the cage. We gotta go to the bank. Hey, look. You go tell the blackjack dealers to turn both their cards up to the players. All right, uh, single decks. 
Get the card counters in here and uh, $300 minimum bet. Now go. All right. If there's a skim going on, I don't know about it. It'll take time to get close to that gaming operation, and hopefully he'll be digging into the action soon. Meantime, I'm using bulls, lacks of even some meat tenderizer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can nail Tagley for malicious mischief, huh? Yeah, we'll pitch him for conspiracy to commit agita. <laughs> I'm glad you guys can joke about this, because I feel like I'm wasting everybody's time and their energy. Well, you're not, Jack, believe me. They're already making their moves to take over the joint, right, David? Yeah, yeah, the guys in research have come up with something at the County Hall of Records. A mortgage company has acquired the note on Bowers Casino. So? The mortgage on the Palladium Casino is now owned by Signal Corporation. Signal Corporation is controlled by Stephen Cardo, Max Coleman, and Ray Luca. So Bauer wouldn't know. They're busting the casino out, foreclosing. They're gonna grab it right out of that foreclosure at one quarter of the value. Don't you see they're using this money from the skim to buy his own hotel? It's great. Is my uncooperated testimony enough to indict and get a conviction on Luca. Absolutely, Jack, but you, you have got to witness the cash in Luca's possession. You understand that? By the time this is over, we're going to have enough on Cordo, Goldman, and Luca to put them all away for a long, long time. Well, until I get that skim nailed down, that means in Luca's hands, we got to cool it with these meetings. No more periodic reports. No way, Jack. We got to know what's going on. Listen, Mike, I'm getting close. Mike, it's too risky to the operation. It can blow all the work I've been doing. This whole operation is at risk. There's nobody more concerned about the operation than I am, but your safety is more important, Jack. We're not dealing with a situation covered by the patrol guide here. You gotta trust my instincts. I do trust your instincts. I also like to sleep at night, and the only way I feel safe doing that is seeing you breathe. Jack's got a point, Mike. All right, all right. You're on your own, Jack, but I don't like it. Open the door. He's with me. This stuff weighs a ton. Bill, take a coffee break. Good. When are we going to make ourselves healthy with some of this here? What do you mean? Oh, look at all this bread. When's some of this going to end up in our folk? What's this? I'm getting pretty good with this thing. Man, that is great. I can make half of every bucket that comes in here just disappear. Till I write the scale again. Well, when are we going to make some of it disappear our way? This is the boss's profit. It don't disappear our way until the boss says it's OK. We'll get our chance. Let's go to the lounge. Julia, hit it. You think them broads are still there? Don't nobody ever lose in this joint? We gotta have an advertisement. You know, everybody wants at Pete Bauer's gaming emporium. Sir, if you would just take a look at the daily cash receipts. It's pretty dismal. And the daily cash flow. The trend line is going down in all operations. The casinos yielded four lawsuits in one month. All right, all right. What are you guys trying to tell me? You're going belly up, Mr. Bauer. And look, until we get on our feet, everybody has to work seven days. No overtime. Oh, what? Listen, listen. We're going downhill. And we're going downhill fast. So we all have to get together. We have to push ourselves out of this. Junk. This guy think he Junk is, is uh, Adam Bryan and uh, Newt Rockman. Yeah, like I'm Ronald Reagan is the Gipper. <laughs> and you blackjack dealers, you hear me? From now on, when you bust and the customer busts, the customer don't lose no more. 
It's even. That's the kind of thinking Pete Bauer is going to bring into this place. You know, we get the players in here, we can roll in the money. And remember, our customers are the best people on earth. So when they come in here, you treat them like a friend, like your family. And then beat them out of everything they got. You understand? <laughs> now get out of here and win. <laughs> Oh, which one are you working for? Yo, Mr. Power, how you doing? Look, I got a great idea. See, uh, my background is in show business. You know, when I was a baby and all that, uh, both my folks are uh, performers, right? The vaudevillians. You ever hear the dancing Holmans? What? Yeah, they were really big. Anyway, yeah, I got a little act myself, you know, kind of rock. Hey, look, you got an act. Quit. Go with the show business. No, no, come here. You misunderstand me. Now, look. I have been in this business that we call show all my life, all right? Now, I know that the guy that you got booking acts in this club here, he's a bum. He's Bush League, all right? You, you got to get somebody in there with taste, somebody who knows what the people want. What do the people want? Oh, they want to see new faces. They, wanna, they want that vital new showbiz blood, you know? They want, they want the kind of acts that Ed Sullivan brings into your living room every Sunday night. Like what kind of acts? <laughs> How much you all love the theater. I just want to thank all you dedicated lesbians for auditioning for me tonight and sharing your talent with me. I'm deeply moved. I'd also like to say that Are I. Are you going to get hired, Mr. Holman? Yeah. You're all hired. <laughs>
supposed to like that stuff. Ah, it's so bad. It's good, Frank. Frank's gonna kill me. Nah. <laughs> hey, Frank. What? Can you do me a favor? No, not tonight, Paulie. I ain't covering your action no more. I got trouble to my own. <laughs> Get. I got a date with the show. A real knockout. And I got to deliver this package to Ray today. Sure, where is it? Come on, walk with me. <laughs> Poker changed my life today. We like to be alone. <laughs> Deliver this to Ray tonight. What's inside? Hey, that's none of your business. Sure, boss. I witness you touch this here cash, and it's all over for you, baby blue. You got a last name? Several of them. Why? <clears throat> well, I hear you want to be in the chorus. It's like something I've always wanted, you know, but... It's not what I do best. Well, tell me about what you do best. <laughs> okay, Ray, but showing you takes a lot longer. We'll spend the night in the suite, and we'll talk about it. The party? Our party. <laughs> yeah, what do you want me to wear? Perfume would be cool. Mm. Ray. What? Hey, Jack. Come here. What's up? Paulie asked me to deliver this to you tonight, Mr. Luther. Jack, uh, this is Audrey. Hi. Thanks, Jack. Hey, Jack. Come in. It's 500. It's for you. You look good in the tux. It goes better with bread in your pocket. You know what I mean? Yeah, thanks, Mr. Luca. Don't mention it. With three mortgage payments in arrears, we thought it was time to step in and kind of shore things up. You mean you're the guy who stepped in and bought up my paper? This will give you time to rethink your financial situation. Think of us as taking over this casino on your behalf. We still want you to stay with our organization. No, at least these guys could have told me. You know, I could have paid you back. It doesn't work that way, Pete. Paulie, give me some cash. Here. I got some business to take care of. You go entertain yourself, all right? You be long, Ray? 
We're right along with it. But my ideas still work. We know that. We have a large motel operation that I'm sure could use your ideas. What'd you do this to me for? Get out of here. This is my place now. Paulie, get him out of here. Come on. The palladium here makes number five, right? We should tell Manny to come on out so he can see what his boys put together. Hey, what happened to that bingo playing chicken? Look at this. I heard it. Hey, we just got the word. Power's out. We own the joint. <laughs> hey, hey, let's go pick up Jack. He don't have to work tonight. We can go celebrate. What happened to your day? You gotta work the 11.30 show. <laughs> Wait, how about get another one? Come on, baby. Get off. Hey, from you old goat. Shay! Sure. Sure. I got a bribe then. <laughs> oh, Jack. Oh, Jack! Jack! <laughs> Where's she at, Jack? Jack! 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 Torello, I've got the goods. Just tell him the meat is on. Yeah, same place. Yeah, same place. Yeah. How'd you get in? Look at you guys. What's your game? A big celebration. Bowers out. Just like you. Yeah. Max! What's this? I hear about you being a television star. Huh? It's just a sports book, Manny. I present the odds, the race results, the guest celebrities, that sort of thing. And you, Ray, you endow a few scholarships, and pretty soon you'll even be a foundation.
We spend a lot of time waiting for Jack Claymore. You're telling me. Should have been here a long time ago. Father, listen to me. Hey, this is Torello. Somebody in the office pick up the mic. Come on, pick it up. Hello, pick up the mic. We read you, Mike. Claymore called to report any hang-ups or that he was going to miss any meetings, anything like that? No, Mike, nothing. So far, he's a no-show. Right, check. Get over to Claymore's apartment. We'll meet you there. Yeah, what's going on, Mike? I haven't got time to explain it to you now, Danny. Jack might be in trouble, all right? All right, we're on our way. Walter, you and Nate go over to Bowers. If you even glimpse Claymore, bring him in at gunpoint if you have to. Read you, Mike. If you don't find him there, go to the Lucky Star and find Luca. Wherever you find him, you'll find Claymore. Joey, alert the Vegas coppers. All right, Mike. We're going to enlarge the poker room over there. Also, going to put some new slots over in this area, Manny. It's too large a bar, Ray. We want customers gambling, not sitting around drinking. Order down the booze and serve them drinks while they're pulling down the slot machine levels. You're the professor. Huh. I like that. <laughs> Over the years, I've set up enough of these operations to earn some kind of professorship. A doctorate. See my point? I don't know. Honest. I don't know, honest. Who the hell are you, Beaver Cleaver? Where's Luca, sweetheart? I don't know. Where? It gets worse. He's out with Mr. Weisport and Mr. Cordo. Thanks. Town, Manny. Yes. There is nobody can bring us down now but us. Not now, Paulie. Or boss, Jim Excuse Sport. me. I'm telling you, I'm busy over here. What's the matter? Just caught Claymore setting up a meet with Torello on the phone. You got him someplace? Yeah, Holman's got him. We roughed him up pretty good, but he's standing tough. He won't tell us nothing. Nothing. All right, all right, all right, all right. Go get the car and bring it around front, all right? Manny, Paulie's got some problems with personnel, so I got to straighten some things out. So uh, I'll be gone a few minutes, all right? Ray, what's the matter? Claymore's a stool pigeon or a cop. So where is he? Paulie's got him. So let Taglia finish it. Claymore handed me money tonight, Steve. I got to find out how much he told Torello and who else is inside the organization. Fine. Let Taglia handle it. No, you don't get it. There's some things that you handle yourself.
Hey, Paul we're on our way to Lucas' house. We'll meet you there. Okay, it'll take us 10 minutes. You guys all right? Yeah, what happened to Bowers? Came up dry. Nobody in Bowers has seen Claymore for hours. Okay. Joey, what's your location? I'm holding down the port in case Claymore shows. All right, sit tight. Where the hell are they taking them? Has he said anything yet? No, he ain't said nothing, Bob. Hello, Ray. <sighs> you work for Torello, huh? I don't know no Torello. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about? <sighs> you stole pigeon bastard. <sighs> Who else is inside the organization? Ray. This is crazy. We should be back in town. Somewhere people can see us. Then go back to town. What about Manny? What do you think he'd say about this? This is not a negotiation, Steve. This is my thing, and I handle it the way I know how. You got juice here? Yeah. I'm gonna wire him up and find out how much he knows. Let's talk. Or sizzle. It's your choice, Jack. That thing hooked up? Yeah. All right, pull the switch. Open his gate. Police officers, open his gate. Open the gate. Open this gate. What do you want? You got a warrant? Yeah. Walter, give the warrant. Come on, you know he'll kill me. I'll huh? kill you myself. Where is he? I don't know. When I tell you that I don't care anymore and that I'll kill you, does that make you believe me? I don't know where he is. You snatch somebody off the street, you want to talk to him, you want to do whatever, where do you take him? Where do you take him? Where? Okay! There's a place outside of town yeah. in the desert. Yeah. Where? Where? It's a junkyard. It's got a lot of signs. Signs? Yeah, I know what he's talking about. Come on, Mike, let's go. This punk didn't tell Torello nothing. We wait for us to claim on now, and our troubles are over. Great, Ray, great. Okay, let Taglia finish it up. You come with me. We both go back to Manny, okay? No, not okay. All right, Joey, Walter, Nate, listen up. We're headed to a graveyard, a signed graveyard, out in the desert. It's two miles off oh. Alexander Avenue. Come on, Ray. Don't be stupid. Leave him to them. This'll be my pleasure. 
Ray, think. What does Manny always say? He says they're managers and they're mules. Well, this is this and now is now, all right? You're a fool, Ray. Who are you calling a fool, Gordo? I'm faster and better than anybody. And nobody can touch me. Not the G, not Torello, Abrams, nobody. It's the best you could do, Torello. One lousy, stinking undercover cop who can't even deliver the goods. Yeah, that's right. Run away. Hey, college boy. This is my town. And I own it. Caliber, Mike. It's the same way he killed Tranchita, O'Donnell, and Wes Conley. Tell me, Counselor, with animals like Luca running around, why do we have to stop short of an all out war? The law. What do we do now? Everything we've done since we got to Las Vegas just got blown out the back of Jack Claymore's head. Mm -hmm. 